Checking back in with the women's basketball team this week, we are here with Alex Clawitter, who is the only senior on the roster this season. Alex, how does it feel being the only senior, and then you know how has that uh, been affected anything this season for you so far? Um, I'll admit that I didn't like it at the beginning because I would love to celebrate and um, just ex- share this experience with other seniors, you know, um, but. It's been fun because I love all my teammates, so everyone's been so welcoming, I mean, and like wanting to just spend time with me, and so I haven't really been excluded, so it's kind of like I'm just in everyone's class, so I guess the team has helped me with that a lot. Well, that's good. Uh, Most recent game, we took on Butler, and you managed to tie your career high, nine points, and this... Tell me a little bit about the experience of playing at Hinkle. You know, it's it's an old movie, but everyone's seen Hoosiers, seen the, the same court in the movie. That's the one that you get to play on. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, I like playing at Butler. Uh, I'd ha- actually never seen Hoosiers until we watched it on the road trip. And uh, so it was really cool seeing, like, oh, we were there. And, um, you know, I don't like sitting on the bench and it, the court's higher. But other than that, like, it was just so fun to play in there. You've seen your role on the team grow over the course of your career, uh, now averaging career high in minutes, career high in points. Tell us a little bit about how that your game has evolved and as your career has spent here. Um, I learned so much already uh, since since freshman year. I was a little scared, a little nervous. So um, just ever since then, I've learned so much from my coaches and from all my experiences on the court. And just um, seeing more of the coaches' perspective this year. Um, being a captain, I think I've even evolved more with my playing ability, and I just keep getting better because of the coaches and this captain role and finally being a senior. Thanks for heading down the stretch here, your final season. Share a little bit of your memories, of your favorite memories of your time here at UW Milwaukee. Um, well, I, the first thing that comes to mind is my freshman year when we went to NC State. That was just such a great experience meeting um, Kay Yao, and her team and um, one thing I remember from that trip is how unbelievably comfortable the beds were it was like sleeping on a cloud and then so now I've been like disappointed every road trip because it's not as good as my very first road trip but anyways um, that's one of my favorite memories and I think um, also this season playing Toledo was really enjoyable for me like playing as a team with my team and I really also enjoyed playing against Wright State I know we lost that game but it was one of my favorite games because it was so fun being with my team. And um, every team meal is fun for me, and it was a good experience. Also, this trip, we went to Cameron Tucker's parents' house, and we got to eat as a team there, and that was just a great experience being with everyone, too. Open up February against Seattle and then take on mighty Green Bay this week. Talk a little bit, a bit about how your team is you know, working to get better and finish up the season on a high note. Um, Right now we're focusing on defense because I think that's the area we struggle most. I mean, I know we can score, we can hit shots, but right now it's our defense. So if we really focus on getting better on defense every day in practice, then I think we're going to beat a lot of teams the rest of the season. Close out the interview today with a couple of fun questions. So I'll just kind of throw some at you and give me your answer. You all set? Yes. All right. Age you first started playing basketball? Oh, maybe... I think it was five. My dad taught me how to shoot, right? I just remember being in my bedroom and him teaching me. I put my hand in the cookie jar on every shot, just snap my wrist, and because he's a basketball coach too. So I just, um, he kind of forced me into it. So I don't think I enjoyed it until about third grade, but I started when I was about five. Yeah, uh, first real game. Do you remember the first basket you scored? No. I do not remember at all. Have you ever had the opportunity to take the final shot of a game that would have either tied the game or won the game? Yes. uh, Did you make it? Nope. (laughs) I've tried three different times in high school. Um, I remember everyone. I don't regret that I took the shot, but I think about it a lot. (laughs) Game of horse between you and Coach Botham. Who wins? Me. Best player to ever play the women's game in college level? Um... I think I've, well, I've always admired um, Diana Taurasi. I think she's a great player, but I think it's going to have to be Misty Bass because, or Misty Williams. She played for the Chicago Sky and, well, Duke first, but she played for my dad um, in high school. So she went to my high school. So I got to lo- know her more. So I'm just, I just really admire her. You're closing in on your 
college graduation, let's say your final requirement is a game of one-on-one -on -one that you have to win, which member of the coaching staff are you playing against? Um, <laughs> maybe Coach McManaman, because I think he would take it easy on me. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you happy this interview is over? You betcha. Do you have any questions for me? Um, did you enjoy this interview? Absolutely. Thanks for your time. <laughs>